The president of Gallaudet University, Dr. T. Allen Hurwitz, came to Fresno State Sunday afternoon. He presented Gallaudet's strategic goals and visions for the university's enhancement in the upcoming years. Gallaudet is a bilingual university in Washington, D.C. for both deaf and hearing students. They currently have about 3,000 students enrolled and 5% of the undergraduate students are hearing. Gallaudet is a premier liberal arts university with a strong career focus. Hurwitz is the 10th president of Gallaudet and has been to Fresno four times. However, this was Hurwitz's first time lecturing at a California university. Hurwitz discussed the strategic vision that Gallaudet hopes to gain. Premier liberal arts university with a strong career focus, bilingual university, multicultural diversity, global awareness and knowledge, and technology in a rapid changing global society. Gallaudet University had been the premier liberal arts university with a very strong focus on careers. And we're trying to think of the plan for young people and their careers for the future. Next, Hurwitz discussed the strategic goals for the university as he elaborated on enrollment growth, retention and graduation rates, efficiencies in revenue generating operations, academic programs, epic research centers, and creating opportunities for future students. There are maybe now 85 to 90 percent of deaf children, a really high number, are not found in the residential school programs any longer. They are in day schools. They're in mainstream programs in public schools. First Lady Vicki T. Hurwitz also spoke as she presented a brief history on previous First Ladies and the house in which they currently reside. We do have a room that is called the Lincoln Room. Like Alan said, Abraham Lincoln is the one who signed the bill into law to establish Gallaudet University. There is a bed in Lincoln's room, which actually is a replica of the bed in the White House. With Sunday's lecture, Dr. T. Allen Hurwitz hopes that all who attended remember the importance of education and how many options that are offered. For The Collegian Online, I'm Rachel Waldron.